Hello. Hello. Hello, viewers. Yeah, this is Dr. P.K. Srivastava presenting a video on a very important subject called the tips to select good dairy animals. So there is a requirement in the breed multiplication scheme for the good dairy animals. How do you select that? So first let us have our credential. Yeah, this is uh, ex-NDDB officer Dr. P.K. Srivastava and dairy business guru. And now this is the first part of the video. This video will be presented in three parts. This is the first part. Let's go to the second slide it says that the, the uh, RGM objective, it defines that there will be enhanced productivity with using advanced technologies. And for advanced technologies, the good dairy animals are important for enhancing productivity good dairy animals are important let's go to the see that what are the benefits the 50 percent subsidy is available for establishing the breed multiplication scheme farm what are the good dairy animals how do a farmer understand or entrepreneur understand so this is that high genetic potential at least having above 3000 liter lactation yield and disease free J tb jd brucellosis mastitis has the back records its mother and father's record has the first and second lactation the bmf requirement this is the bmf requirement the animal is in first and second lactation otherwise you anybody any farmer can buy any lactation animal the up to the fifth lactation not a problem but the bmf requirement is up to first and second lactation only the specific bead character it has got a specific bead character visible in the animal and good economic characters the animal has got good economic characters record so and breeding technique sss or normal normal semen ai or sss or ett or what kind of thing was used for producing this animal right so go to the second slide what does it say that which animal now which animal to buy right and which breed to buy right and what to see what to see actually and what to examine and what to ask from the seller and which age which lactation right where from the, by the animal it's a big question and now we are going to resolve that with whose support you have to buy the animals before going into the detail let's see that what are the straw coding done on the animal for the breeding purpose so the, these are the codes like holstein has been given you know a pink color so if you see a, a semen straw of pink color or rose color it is of hf whether you understand read or not but it is of hf similarly for a green gir animal you will get a purple color sahiwal you will get on orange color so all these quotes have been given by government of india for the semen stations and semen stations are following these quotes so the breed and semen station quotes have also been defined look at the breeds and these quotes and look at the semen station and these codes. These are all defined, so they will be marked on the uh, semen dose. This is this is the semen straw. This is the semen straw. It has got the markings. This marking has to be deciphered to understand the what was the what was the semen introduced in this animal, right? And this is important because the farmer 90% cases the farmers are ignorant about this. The inseminator comes, inseminates and goes with the along with the throwing the uh, empty uh, straw or he collects the empty straw for depositing to the department. But otherwise, this is most important to be kept by the farmers with the with the marking so that it can be examined that what kind of semen has been introduced in the animal, right? The animal has been inseminated with what kind of semen. These are the markings given in the America. So the foreign country also has got the markings. The India is also using that kind of markings. So you have to collect the empty semen straw from the inseminator to know about the what kind of female calf you are going to get. So at the same time, this suppose it is not available to you, right? The, the inseminator has to deposit in the department, no issue. Take a picture of that and keep it that. So the other thing we are going to discuss over here is the body condition score. When we go and buy the animal, we see the animal is thin or very fatty. So we have to buy the animal in between, not very thin, not very fatty.
because fatty animals will have dystochia later on and the not very uh, uh, fatty animal like thin animals will not be able to sustain for the uh, for the pregnancy so these are the points the hook bone hook bone pin bones and and this third area can be seen from the right side of the animal and these are the points can be seen these are the hook and pin bones and thal and this is the short ribs small ribs you can see over here the ribs are the sacral ligament are visible here and the tail head ligament is also visible as tail is attached to that so based on these things we go for the scoring the animal look at the score a score a all the ribs are clear you can see the animal is almost total structure of the bone having a skin over it and here the second score you will get the animal is not very fatty not very thin right and the third one you will see the animal is in between not fatty and not very uh, uh, you know thin so we have to buy the animal of the score 3.5 between 3 and 4 this is the score we have to buy and this we have deciphered over here for you we have written so that you can while the watching the video you can see that what is score 3 what is score 4 now you have to buy the animal between score 3 and 4 look at the hoof score hoof score is most important thing for the lameness of the animal the animal if the hoof is not proper in the size or it is it is uh, you know tilted or it is uh, of curved so then the animal will be lame later on and this animal is not going to be a good you know producer of the milk so this animal has to be discarded if the hoof is very good size symmetrical so that animal has to be purchased right so these are the like this we will be giving you all the tips to understand which animal to buy and with the very limited support of the technical support you can buy the animals right so watch for the next video the part 2 and if you have any question over here please post those questions to dairy consultancy india at the rate gmail.com our email and we will try to resolve it thank you very much viewers for watching our video and please watch the other two parts of this video thank you very much